In this series here, we're having the setters tossed from behind, and we're going to work on four technical uh, elements that we think are critical to setting. The first one is taking their hips and dropping their hips down, and then weight transferring from their left foot to their right foot. At the same time the setter is working on that, she's also working on timing the rotation of her turn um, so that she is very close to square uh, and then finishing squaring as she um, delivers the ball. We think this is important for um, helping the setters learn how to generate energy and then put the energy uh, into the ball. So we're, trying, we're combining a couple different things here with this, um, with this move. Uh, the setters are facing where the target is, and the target is behind the setter, facer Eddie. And then they're rotating around, trying to time the rotation of their turn, and then at the same time controlling their weight, so they drop their hips a little bit, and then um, weight transfer from left to right. A little lower hips, Rachel. Exaggerate it a little bit. Exaggerate your hips a little bit. Drop down into it. So the setters are working on generating some good um, power uh, and then getting that power into the ball. In the next series here, now we're reach up for flex and set. We're going to have the setters reach straight up and uh, this is going to give a really neutral look uh, to the blockers and then from this extended position the setters are going to flex four points. They're going to flex at their wrists, they're going to flex at their elbows, they're going to flex at their hips, and they're going to flex at their knees, and uh, then deliver the ball. Make sure you sit down a little bit with your hips, too. There you go. So trying to flex all four of those points. We think all four of those points are important as far as generating energy and um, putting some energy into the flight of the ball. We also think that it's going to help um, eventually become pretty deceptive, a pretty deceptive move for the setters as they um, kind of flex their body down and then uh, they can deliver any set. So this is the second in our series of four uh, key techniques that we think are gonna be important for the setters. Uh, we like to exaggerate this. We don't necessarily set with this really extended position, but in this drill, we like to exaggerate it. Really exaggerate, Rachel, especially your wrists, okay? So we're gonna reach straight up. There we go. Gonna reach straight up and then flex all four points. Like I said earlier, flexing at the wrists, flexing at the elbows, a uh, slight flex in the hips, and then also a slight flex in the knees. So the third move in our series is uh, what we call set and return. There you go. And here's where the setters um, deliver the set, and then they quickly bring their hands back to um, where they touch the ball. We think that this helps the setters learn how to get the ball out of their hands quickly, it also helps young setters learn how to keep their hand position um, more disciplined as they strike through the ball. Um, we believe that a very disciplined hand position is going to help the ball fly more consistently and more accurately. So this is one of the moves that we use to help teach all of our setters um, how to keep their hand position um, very disciplined. And as you can see, uh, bring them back quicker, Eddie. There you go. Now, front, same thing on the front set. There you go. So um, it's not, this is not the way we set the ball, but it is a training move that we use to help the setters learn how to get the ball out of their hands really quickly. Good. Cole, we're going to do heels under here, but with, without the ball first, I just want you to show what move you're going to work on. So extended, yeah, and the heels are going to go more horizontal through the ball. Show it for the back set. Okay, one more time on the back set. Okay, now without returning our hands, we want the ball to come out of your hands as quickly as it felt like it was on the set and return. But now you're going to key, key on your heels going under the ball, okay. okay? Good. So without returning their hands um, to the contact point, We've got the setters trying to get the ball out of their hands just as quickly as they did in the series before, but now they're keen on what the heels of their hands are doing. Heels of the hands um, coming horizontally under the ball slightly, um, and they're trying to get the ball out of their hands as quickly as they did when the, uh, 
with the previous move, the set and return move. Set your hips down a little bit. Still get a good weight transfer. There you go. So as we build on each element, um, we want to try and get the setters to progress through this four move series, uh, retaining each move from the move before. So we still like their hips to drop slightly, still like a good weight transfer left to right, uh, like the delivery to be very quick, and we like the heels to, to stroke slightly under the ball. Very good, Eddie. So key on your heels. Nice. Very good. That's it. That's good. Good, now we're gonna do flight. Now we're gonna do flight, yep. So we're gonna end the series, end the technical series where the um, setters are really keen on where they're setting the ball into the grid, uh, on the catch it, and trying to control and recreate the same flight of the ball each time. So we went through our four key technical points um, to remind them and to train them as to how we want to deliver the ball and now they're trying to keep all four of those points, use all four of those points, but key on accuracy uh, with their delivery and flight control. It's good, Eddie.